So something a bit different today. I'm sat in the car with it running and uh, this is one of my OBD2 CNC uh, devices. Now it's plugged into the OBD port and you'll see it's actually got some data on here. Uh, I'm sorry if it's not focusing particularly well. Now what is interesting is that I've been able to communicate with the car using my CAN device and these numbers on the bottom starting here uh, 9B, C, etc. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here. Um, they are the tap voltages for the uh, IMA battery. So uh, I'm sending the uh, I want to see the tap voltages request to the car and it's uh, sending the information back to me. Uh, I've, I've got the other two um, uh, taps as well. There's five there, there's seven altogether in this particular uh, car. So um, we can see that obviously if you look up 9C, uh, in the hex table because these are hexadecimal numbers and um, that's about 15.6 volts it's 156 and it's just a straight conversion divide by 10 to get the actual tap voltages so we'll be able to see the tap voltages now which is good and I've also got the information for the usable state of charge and the actual state of charge capacity so I have to program this um, fairly easily now to display um, some data from the uh, system live basically uh, sat on top of the dashboard uh, like my other devices but uh, plugged into the OBD port uh, displaying uh, live data from the car without having to use uh, an HDS which obviously is not the most friendly or user friendly thing uh, to be using so I haven't tidied any of this up this is just the first test just to basically see if I can get any information and I am getting information, I just now need to uh, tidy it all up, put the proper voltages on the screen and start getting a few more parameters so uh, you can have a live display of what is going on.